Yeah, that's right, yeah. So, let go. Well, welcome everybody. Uh, today is an important day for us in our campaign because today we've announced the first candidate from Victoria standing for the Palm United Party. And that's uh, Chris Kennedy, in the, Jason. In the, uh, sorry, Jason Kennedy in the seat of Latrobe. And uh, tomorrow we'll be announcing our first candidate standing in New South Wales. And by Sunday, there'll be at least 20 other candidates in the House of Representatives standing for us in uh, New South Wales and Victoria. So I think that's a message for the people of Australia that help is on the way, but there will be 150 candidates standing in every seat in the House of Representatives in the coming federal election for the Palmer United Party. And I want to say overnight, I've been looking at the polls in North Queensland that shows 51% of the people support us and will vote for us. And the Cedar Flynn, the local uh, newspaper, ran a poll and 33% of people responded by saying they'll give us our first preference vote. So the question comes, how long can it be that Tony Abbott and Julia Gillard don't respond to our five key policies which can change the face of this nation and secure the future of Australians? How long will they rush to Parliament to try to gather another $40 million of taxpayers' money, $20 million for Labor, $20 million for the Liberals? That doesn't give either of them an advantage against each other. It only affects one party, and that's our party, because it gives them more money. And they're frightened that at last in this country, there's someone that's got enough ability and enough resources to get out there in the public, additional information, and stand for other policies other than them. The politicians, um, Tony Gillard and Julia Abbott, they care more about, more about keeping no competition in politics. They talk about competition in industry, they talk about competition in, in the games, but they don't want competition in politics. And we're here today to, to give them a little bit of competition. Whether we win or whether we lose, it's not a bad thing. Australia is a democracy. We believe in freedom of speech. And if you read the Liberal Party platform, they stand for individual rights and the diversity of our nation. How then can it be that they make fun of us on an individual basis, attack the man and not the policy? Because they're scared. And they should be scared because right across this nation, the people of this country are rising up. They're sick of being ignored. They're sick of seeing boring politicians on TV and they're going to make a change. And the people that are standing behind me have committed their lives to public service in this campaign to take the battle up to the uh, Gillard Abbott forces to make sure there is real change in Australia. Today we've uh, also got here our plane, which we'll be utilising in the federal campaign to fly to every city and every corner in the Commonwealth of Australia so that people have got the message, that they know that they, they are cared about, they know there are people in this Commonwealth that want to look after them, offer themselves in the spirit of public service. With their, their uh, thanks, our only reward, we seek to go forward to make a better country for this nation. We seek to reclaim the ghost of the Angler Axe legend that this country stands for something. And you wonder how two people, both born outside Australia, in foreign countries, cannot relate to the people that live in this country. You wonder why they haven't got the same sort of go forward that we tend to have or that other Australians have. And they don't think about what, this, what it means in this country to live and to die and, and to stand for what it means to be an Australian. My family's got a strong commitment to this country. My granduncle was killed in World War I. We lost five people in World War II. My two nephews are still recovering from the Vietnamese War. And Squadron Leader Martin Brewster led in, in, Interfed in Timor recently. All of those people have given much more service to this nation than I could ever give. And it's fitting and right at my age that I offer my service to the country. Because isn't it in a mess? 181 years represents the work experience of the top six ministers in the Gillard government. 13 years of that is in the private sector take off the time in unions and working for lawyers and you're left with two years. Is it any wonder that they do such a rotten job? Is it any wonder that Wayne Swan can't balance a budget or count even? Is it any wonder that Tony Abbott and Julia Gillard both want to increase our taxes rather than look at our economy and see how we can make it work better? So thanks for coming. If you've got any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Or anybody here is. No, this is my plane. I've been flying around the world for years, but it's had a paint job to let people know who we are and what we stand for. Sorry? No, I own it. I own all the companies. I own all the planes. They're all mine.
No, I haven't got four planes, I've got five planes. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only one. I can't I can't travel. Uh, despite uh, despite watching Star Wars for many years, I can't travel in more than one plane at a time. So this is the plane that I'll be travelling in. Well, there'll certainly be reporters' seats available, and you should register those with Andrew Crook. There'll be great drinks served, and it'll be a very, very enjoyable visit. So rather than have a boring campaign, the journalists of Australia have got a chance to aspire to a, a seat in our jet to cover this campaign when it really matters. When people in Australia are changing their ideas, you know, our party was only formed, only formed three weeks ago. Three million Australians have visited our website. Right across this nation, there's an indignation that politicians don't, don't stand for anything. They don't care about the people. And we have in Australia the highest rate of infant mortality in the world among Aboriginal children. If you were Prime Minister or if you were Leader of the Opposition and ch Australian children were dying, wouldn't that be your number one issue? Isn't that a barometer of how much these people, Tony, uh, what's his name, Tony Abbott, or Tony Gillard, Julia Abbott, isn't it interesting how much they care about you and your family and what you stand for? Any more questions? Okay, we'll wrap it up and have a look at the plane. <laughs> Thank you.